What is up everybody? This is, uh, yes, me again. Second time in a row for a full tour of another tiny house we, we just finished. It's called the, the Tsuya, all right? Uh, this is, uh, this mo model is uh, 28 feet by 10 and a half plus the two feet we have with the bump out. So 30 feet total. Uh, this house is going uh, all the way at the other side of the continent, it's going in Vancouver. It's uh, near an, uh, on an island near Vancouver, all right? So um, it's still cold there, but not as cold as here. Anyway, uh, about the exterior design, um, it's still Su, uh, Su Shugiban, uh, Shu Sugiban, sorry. But it's not the same as the, the last video tour. It's, uh, this, this one is just a little less burnt. Uh, you, like you can see in the details, right now. And then uh, the, one of the first uh, on this house is the, um, the natural wood. This design is a, it's a mix between Shusugi Ban and natural cedar. So it's white cedar. There is nothing on it. Uh, there is no uh, varnish, no uh, anything. So the, the natural cedar, uh, it's kind of a little bit yellow now, but you can see it's, it's uh, getting whiter with the time and then it's gonna become gray um, like an example there. Like this shed right here. It's <laughs> yeah, the same thing. So uh, there's not a lot of things to say uh, so, uh, about the outside. So uh, let's go inside right away. So welcome inside once again this incredible tiny house. Uh, we're always uh, very proud of what we do, of course. So here uh, in the, the entrance, as you can see, it's very simple. This house is a little bit shorter than what we usually do, but we managed to, uh, to make sure uh, the living space is uh, big enough for this big IKEA couch. Our customer really wanted this couch. Uh, as you can see, there is a little bit more color in this house than usual because just our customer like uh, maybe a little bit more color. So that's why, for example, the couch is red. Uh, so here, um, once again, it will be uh, the spot for the TV. And we managed to, to fit this, uh, this IKEA couch that is also a queen size bed. And there is some storage under there. Uh, it's pretty popular. It's not the first time we we choose this uh, this couch from IKEA. And then you have two big window with solar blinds. Uh, this customer chose the the, the solar blinds uh, option as well. Then here uh, will be uh, the uh, the head of the AC unit, but it's a split unit, so it's the heating uh, too. So uh, this house is mainly heated by this uh, source of uh, energy. But there is also two uh, tokek heater in this house uh, for the customer. If, uh, for example, if they leave the house for a long period of, of time in the winter, they will be able to close the split unit and make sure the tokek heater works. So once again, uh, this kitchen uh, design is very popular, I think, uh, because a lot of customers seems to like it. Um, this is pretty much like the first Magnolia. So we have a peninsula right here. There is two uh, spots for some stools and uh, plenty of countertop space. Uh, this is a custom countertop uh, we had to build because uh, we didn't find any that fits with what's happening here. But I'll, I'm gonna explain that later. But um, as usual, we have plenty of countertop space there is still some uh, upper cabinets and then you have the lead strips on both, on both sides uh, just to make sure you see well uh, when you do the preparation. Uh, here we have a little sp spice rack and then here you can see uh, the custom uh, cabinet we, ha we always have to build because of the wheel wells. So that's one of the difficulty when we build our kitchen. In here on the other side, we have uh, this uh, breakfast uh, spot. So here will be the spot for the microwave. And then you have plenty of storage 
and also we have this uh, garbage bin set up very useful and then under we even have some tokic uh, dryer and I made sure uh, we can open it with our toe <laughs> simple as that and yeah here will be the same size fridge as we always put pretty much the smallest fridge we can install and then yeah I love the feeling of this house here will be um, this is just an oven it's a little bit bigger than the Bosch and microwave oven oven that we usually put but if you want a bigger oven it's still possible and then here will be the cooktop of our customer uh, when uh, they came to see us uh, with uh, a plane uh, they, br they brought their own uh, cooktop uh, so if you for example if you have an appliances that you want you want to make sure you want to keep uh, it's possible to integrate it in uh, a custom design if you want so here it's a they really wanted a 30 inches uh, range hood with their cooktop so that's what they get here now once again um, this uh, bathroom is uh, one of a kind uh, this is a different uh, layout and we're pretty proud of this layout because we are still showing that we can do a different layout in a very small space so come in go ahead you first so when you come in the bathroom, you have uh, at your right the, uh, the mechanical room, okay? And then um, under here will be the nicest place a litter box would ever have in a litter box life. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's the place for the litter box. Um, it's a very good idea. I think our customer asked this and then uh, we just realized it's a very nice place to put a litter uh, because it's in the bathroom so is, if it's smelly uh, they can close the door open the window and the fan and uh, it's, uh, it's a very good place to put a litter and then here will be uh, the place for the water heater so this one is a 40 gallon uh, it, it's, it's, it's even 48 US gallon I don't know if, uh, if your gallon are different than ours but it's a very big one because our customer wanted a bigger one so we usually put some 30 they ask it for 40 it, there is still some place for it so uh, here will be all the, the filter and then all the plumbing and then here we also have our uh, drain on freezer so uh, it's a little backup so if uh, anything happened if any drain freeze during the the winter they still have a little tube uh, with hot water so they can put it in their drain and then unfreeze it it's magical <laughs> so that's pretty much it for this and then at your left um, you have the stackable washer dryer this one is not condensing so there is a next to your trap but like this is one of the many options you can have then here we have uh, the toilet spot and it's a classic flush to toilet it's the first time we install it uh, right away but yes uh, if you want a standard toilet we can do it and then here will be a classic um, uh, bathroom sink it's a Nike one and then with a nice mirrored uh, medicine cabinet and then here will be a nice storage place yeah so we did it all the way from the floor to the ceiling and it's actually a very uh, there is a lot of storage there and then of course um, a window in the bathroom and you can see how much the natural light is coming in and it's a very looks I love this bathroom I love every bathroom we do I love everything we do <laughs> a very special thing we have in this house is the shower so uh, our customer uh, 
didn't, didn't want our classic uh, subway tile style. Uh, as you can see, uh, this product is the same product, but uh, they choose a different pattern. So they wanted a little more color. So uh, it's a very nice pattern. And just for you to see that um, you can choose whatever pattern you want and uh, we can print it and install it in the shower. And this one is a 36 by 36 shower. So uh, it's a little bigger than uh, most of the house we do. As simple as this. So here is the, the main stairs to go up the left. So we did the same thing as we do uh, usually. So we have the pull out step with storage. And then one different detail we did is that this one, there is a little uh, check there. So when you close it, it looks like as wide as all the, the step. So uh, when you go up, as usual, we put this uh, oak end rail and this is uh, oak stairs too, uh, steps. Um, but it's natural. Uh, this is red oak and it, uh, it fitted very well with the, the color scheme of the house. Uh, so yeah, follow me in the bedroom. So this is a king size loft. But our customer are gonna probably put a queen size bed. So it's a very, very big loft. The bed, the queen size bed will be uh, on placed like that. And you have two little table on each side and uh, with two nice lights. And also you can plug your USB right there and charge your phone. Yeah, you have two window. Uh, so, uh, feels very big in this place. The storage here we have for the clothes uh, is different than what we usually do. It's just to show an example of what we can do and how the customer can kind of choose uh, what kind of style he wants for the storage. It's all custom, so all our cabinetry are custom. So uh, they wanted only two doors and it's all open. So uh, that's what they ask and yeah, that's what they get. Ah. This was a short video tour, but it happens sometimes I don't have uh, anything to say about the, the house. It's just that I don't want to say always the same thing on every houses. So thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Uh, we love you guys so much. And um, don't forget to subscribe, to, uh, to uh, push the like button, all right? And um, yes, if you have any question, you just have to contact us uh, on our website is the, the, the easiest way. Um, don't be shy, you can contact us. And uh, still, if you wanna order your house for 2019, it's still a good, uh, it's still a good time. So uh, we're always happy. To help you realize your tiny house dreams so uh, have a good day